the new Star Wars movie will be out soon. So I thought, let's print a Yoda bobblehead. <laughs> well, I'm afraid hey, it is. I was inspired by Joe Telling's YouTube channel, 3D Printing Nerd, where he printed this huge bowl, which was the shape of Yoda's head. So I went to Thingiverse and I found this really cool thumbs up Yoda statue by Thingiverse user Sajail. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it was really cool looking. But then I realized the download.stl file was just a scan of it, but it still looked pretty cool and it looked like it'd make a perfect bobblehead. So I imported the .stl file into Tinkercad, but then I had to resize it because I was planning to print this on my Fabricator Mini. So I had to change the grid size to match the Fabricator Mini base, which is an 80 by 80 millimeter size. So once I did that, I could see that the statue was too big. So I grabbed the corner, held down a shift key so everything changed proportionally, and then I downsized it so it would fit. And that was a great place to start. So from there, I needed to break this into two pieces, the head and the body. So I angled the statue so the bottom of the head was parallel to the base. And then I could come in with a block and make it a hole and then combine it all together so that way it would separate the head from the body. I would just end up with the head. And then I could save that into one file. And then I went back and did the same thing so I saved the body in a separate file. And here's the body that I finished working on. It has a ring that goes down into the neck and then a post. And that's going to hold the spring. And then in the front I put extra wording because his were just blurred out. I added Yoda. So then I went to the head file and I needed to hollow it out. So I just used a cylinder that was made into a hole and took out a whole section of it and hollowed it out. Then I used a second cylinder to make the post that would hold the spring. So once I had that, I grouped it all together, and I had the head of my bobblehead. So I sliced it at a 0.2 layer height, 20% fill, and made a file for both the Fabricator Mini and for my Reflash DaVinci 1.0a. This way I could compare the two files with the same settings, because there's been a lot of questions about the difference between these two in previous YouTube videos. So this would help answer it. In my last trip to Micro Center to pick up filament, I found this bag of assorted springs for only five bucks. I couldn't pass it up. So I found the perfect spring inside that bag, and then I designed the knobs inside the head and also on the body to fit it. And it actually came out perfect. I just had to twist the spring a little bit to get the head to go on. Just a little adjustment back and forth. And then it, when it was done, it was perfect. I, I love the way it turned out and I had my bobbling head. It was it was great. And here's the two finished prints side by side. Fabricator Mini on the left, Reflash DaVinci 1.0a on the right. And you can see a tremendous difference between the two. The Fabricator Mini lines are very very smooth and this is no acetone or anything like that finish. It's just a lot smoother than the 1.0a. They're both good prints but Definitely the Fabricator Mini is better. So now the real test. Does it bobble? Yes, it does. So this was a lot of fun. And I like doing this more than just pulling something off a of Thingiverse and printing it. You know, I like modifying it with things like this. And it's just more fun to me, more of a challenge. And this also shows the difference I'm getting between the two printers. I, I think the reflashed Repetier machine is giving, giving me a lot better prints in the stock DaVinci, but the Fabricator Mini with an E3 DV6 is giving me even better prints. So this shows why I'm looking at getting another printer to replace these guys that's got a better hot end and can give me better prints, but on a bigger build platform. So I am shopping around. This statue, he's supposed to be given a thumbs up. That's why I really thought it was cool. But it really doesn't come across. You really got to figure that out. But he is given a thumbs up. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And it lets me know that you want to see more. So that's it for now. Next time, see you, we will.